Good afternoon from Dollywood. It's Ryan and I have Bree and our friend Stephanie. And here's what we'll be showing you on today's video. You'll be able to virtually join us for a walk around the park with our daughters and some of their friends. And we'll see how crowded and cold it is after New Year's Day during the remaining days of Dollywood's Smoky Mountain Christmas in January. We'll try to ride a number of roller coasters, including Big Bear Mountain, which will be Bree's first time in the front row, as well as one of our kids' friends' first time riding this coaster. We'll check out some deals in the Emporium and catch some live music along the way and say goodbye to Benjamin Bear one last time before he goes into hibernation. So without further ado, let, let the, the adventure, adventure begin. begin. We were able to find a spot available in the B section. There are plenty of handicap spots available right now we just checked the dollywood app and it says big bear mountain has a zero wait time i still don't believe that it's so, gonna be at least like 30 minutes hannah says i will believe it when i see it and if she sees it she'll be riding it again and again i don't know about this weather so we'll see if she can do big bear and chili it's about 40 degrees 39 degrees give or take the tram is not full or just walking up ahead here. There's only two people currently getting on the tram head back, so I don't think there's too many people here today. Hopefully that zero wait time on Big Bear is correct. The sun is coming out a little bit. We need it to come out a little bit more to warm up the day. One thing we can utilize today with the colder temperatures is our tumbler, which I added our name at the bottom of each one of our cups with my phone number in case we lose it. Someone can uh, shoot me a text or call me, but hopefully that never happens throughout the season. As we head into the front entrance, you'll notice the sign says Parton are dust. They're working on up ahead a restroom for the outside. That way, if you or someone in your party is waiting in line for tickets, you can come over and use a restroom as well as if you're waiting for the trolley over there to the right, you'll be able to use the restroom. I was told that that would be running when the season kicks off in March. Well, hello there. Hi, Ryan, how are you? Doing well. Hi, YouTube family. Hey. <laughs> so the sun continues to come out and the crowd level is fantastic at the moment. So we've actually just been hanging out here at the front entrance, waiting for some of our girls' friends to arrive. Now that we have everybody, we're gonna go meet them at Barnstormer. I'll show you some deals going on at the Emporium towards the end of the video, but let's go catch up with our girls. I did just peek into the bakery and there are only a few people in line. So crowds are definitely very low at the moment. Let's go check out the ride wait times. Just like the app, it says Big Bear Mountain has a zero wait time. So let's head that way and see if that's the case. I gotta catch up with Bree and Stephanie, but check out this crowd and the sun out right now. It actually feels fantastic. It's not that cold with the sun. I know it's gonna get colder as the sun goes down, but I think we should enjoy some rides now and maybe save some shows for later once it does get colder. You see there's no wait time to get something here at Market Square. So if you're coming to get some lunch or dinner after New Year's Day, shouldn't have too much of an issue with crowds and lines. Same thing with the kettle corn. You can also see lightning rod in the distance they'll be working on this off season. Hopefully it will be a much more reliable roller coaster when they are complete with all the upgrades to it. I came over to check out the line for the train, which is completely empty. Right now, three o'clock in the afternoon. Let me head to Barnstormer where the girls are. I can hear the train coming. Yeah. So Bree just texted me that they're no longer at Barnstormer and have headed over to Big Bear Mountain. So we're gonna head that way. I do see some people in line getting some hot, fresh cinnamon bread here at the grist mill. Got lots of ducks hanging over here. You guys need to fatten up for the winter. 
There's currently no wait if you're looking to get a turkey leg here at the Hickory House Barbecue. I think I see Applejack up ahead. You want something fast? Something fast and short. What do you got, Applejack? <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, that's fast. Yeah, I, I, I hopefully they didn't blink. All right, thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Looks like the last bird show of the day at 3.30 is about to start. I gotta catch up here and get over to Wildwood Grove. There's currently no wait time if you wanted to hop on to Blazing Fury. Well, I don't see Bree, but I do see Hannah and her friend Ellie. Hannah! Oh, oh my God! <laughs> How many rides have you done? Ooh, four, I think. They're gonna head on Wild Eagle. I always like the Bible verse here on the wall when you enter the ride. And look at that! Nobody down here in this section. Hannah and Ellie are going to ride with no boots so we don't lose the boots. There they go. So, how was it? It was really oh. cold. How do you think about that decision to sit in the front row? No, it was a bad, <laughs> bad, bad idea. Our teeth were cold. Your teeth were and cold. Our eyes were completely watering. <laughs> Fire Chaser Express currently has the longest ride wait time right now at 20 minutes. So we're actually gonna not go to Fire Chaser at this point in time. We're gonna head over to Big Bear Mountain, which has a zero wait time. Our girls are hopping on the great tree swing. Bree and Stephanie want to head over and hop on Big Bear Mountain. So I'm going to walk over there and watch them ride Big Bear Mountain. As we head over to Big Bear, we have Benjamin here. You staying warm? Benjamin. Getting ready to go into hibernation at the park here until March? All right, well, we'll see you then. See you later. Here goes Bree and Stephanie. So, how was it? Fantastic, but I should have put my gloves on. My hands are like icicles. Your turn. No, how about I'll watch? You guys are gonna hop on again. The girls are about to get on. I'll think about it. Come on, no wait. You just hop right on. Let's go. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. <laughs> Here go the girls. Bree and Steph are going again. They're just gonna hop right back up in the front this time. This was Ellie's first time riding it. What did you think? It was really fun. It was like really fast. It didn't have a start. It just like took off. It just kept going. Yeah. Do you guys want to ride it again? Yes. Well, you can because there's no wait time. I don't know. Enjoy. There they go. So we've been able to enjoy multiple rides on Big Bear Mountain. And the kids have also come over here to the Dragon Flyer and have been able to ride this. There's been lots of empty seats every time I've seen it go by. I just told the kids to take advantage of the roller coasters as much as possible right now with the sun out. As we go later into the night, it's gonna drop into the lower 30s and they'll have to close down some of the roller coasters here. We've headed back over to Fire Chaser Express, which only has a 10 minute wait time at the moment. Bree is trying to add some uh, coffee to her hot chocolate. So I will say now that the sun is going down, it is getting colder. I almost want to go make one of those mold hands behind us just to, just to warm up my hand. <laughs> now that we've got some hot chocolate and coffee, we're headed over to the lumberjack lift. So we have made it over to Thunderhead. It is getting colder. It's at 39 degrees. So we're hanging out here, but I think we might call this our last ride of the day. 
and start working over to dinner. As the sun is setting, it is getting colder and colder. So we're gonna call it a day. We could stay later, watch the Christmas drone show. But we're gonna head out through the store. Let me see if I notice anything to highlight for you real quick. Looks like a number of shirts and sweatshirts are 50% off here. They also have a number of fall items that are 50 to 75% off. They've got some lightning rod t-shirts coming in at $10 on sale right now. They have a number of racks of shirts on sale and a whole bunch of mugs over here on sale. They do have some I Will Always Love You 50th anniversary of Dolly's famous song merchandise. When the park does open up, it will go from being a one-time celebration to actually being a festival upon the park opening back up in March. They've got a number of different Dollywood Christmas ornaments here, which reminds me it's about time to put up the tree and pack away all the Christmas ornaments at our home. That ended up wrapping up our day at Dollywood. We hope this video gives you an idea of what the park is like after New Year's Day. If you can bundle up in layers and if the sun is out, it can be quite a pleasant day with very low crowds. You can see the ride wait times here just before 6 p.m. You just have to keep in mind that once it gets too cold, they have to close down some of the rides based on the temperature guidelines they have. We had a great time during the 2023 season inside Dollywood and Dollywood Splash Country and look forward to being back in the park for opening day in March. We hope to bring you many more videos showing new food and shows during all the different festivals this year, as well as the new Dolly Parton experience opening up later this year as well as lightning rod once improvements are complete. If you've enjoyed this video and you could like the video, that would be awesome. And make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out on everything new at Dollywood in 2024. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.